Hey you know, guys, how are we all doing? It's been, I don't know, a week since I put a video up? Well, tonight I'm going to put up a video that, I mean, it's a bunch of projects that I've built over the last, I don't know, number of years. These projects being all the little receivers and stuff I've built. And I figured tonight that uh, I try to do a video showcasing all of the little receivers that I've that I've built, or at least the ones that I've you know kept. <laughs> I've uh, I've after scrapped a, a few of them just because they're just you know they didn't work all that great. But um, I did keep a few of them and. I'm just going to, in this video, show you some of the old receivers. Um, I know a lot of you, uh, like I say, have seen them before here on YouTube. And uh, I figured, you know, for our, for my new subscribers that uh, haven't managed to go through all the videos yet, that uh, I put them all here on this video and uh, let you have a little peruse on them, see what you think. So, if you're interested in... Uh, Seen a bunch of little receivers that I've built? By all means, stay tuned, and uh, I think you'll uh, I think you'll enjoy what I'm going to show her. So I figured, well, why not start with uh, with these receivers that I've built? Um, these are direct conversion receivers, and they use crystal resonators for their frequency, and they can tune a certain you know range of frequencies about. Roughly about 500 kilohertz, 250, 500, depending on the circuit. And uh, three of these are built on basically from the same circuit, direct conversion receiver circuit. And uh, this one here would have been the first one that I uh, tried to construct. It just runs off one 1 1.5 volt battery. That's all the circuit runs on. That's a, a power switch. Uh, antenna input, tuning, and audio out headphones. It's, uh, it's literally about the size of a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> really, really small. I'll, uh, we'll be doing a, I'll be doing a demonstration of uh, three of these receivers here now. But uh, first I figured I'd show you this one. This is the first one I've made. And... Then I've built the second direct conversion receiver. Built this one into a tin and a tin box, and it runs roughly about 6.745 to 7.120 megahertz. Um, I try to incorporate an S meter into it. It does have tuning. Uh, it has set. It has volume, power on and off. Antenna connector, audio output. I do. I did put a DC jack in it, but I haven't uh, haven't hooked up to it as it runs on 1.5. And uh, so we'll do a little demonstration of this one now in a little bit. And this one here will be the third version of the DC or the direct conversion receiver that I built. So basically, we have uh, tuning or band set, uh, main tuning right here uh, volume I've got a little audio amp built into it works better with a pair of headphones obviously it also runs on 1.5 volt it's a little 1.5 volt battery packs rewired as it runs on one battery antenna input and audio output so we're going to do a little demonstration of three of these receivers okay so this one is the first direct conversion receiver I made. This one is in a just a plastic box of whatever sort about the size of a pack of smokes uh, so again that's audio out that's antenna in and tuning. Now this one don't have the tuning capability of this one so this one is more or less kind of rock bound. I mean you can swing it a few hertz either way but uh, I found later that if you put, <laughs> obviously, a nice tuning capacitor in series with the uh, uh, crystal resonator, well, obviously, you get a lot more tuning. This one, um, 
This uh, used to say in control. This one here is the same as what this one here is. So we'll uh, we'll show you. Turn the volume up on the little realistic SA101. transmitting on that frequency at the moment like I said you can pull the crystal a little one way or the other but not a whole lot So I'm just moving this control here. Basically this one would be good if you had like a, a simple you know, crystal oscillator as a transmitter and worked on the same frequency as this thing could. And you can make yourself a little transceiver. Um, it runs on 7 megahertz lower end. CW portion. Simple on and off switch. you would all love to see the inside of this uh, of this box this receiver so let's pull some tape off and uh, have a little gander shall we okay this is the inside of this direct conversion receiver uh, it runs on a crystal resonator which is this one here uh, I'm not sure if a frequency on this thing or not 3.5, okay, so this one's actually uh, 3.5, this one's uh, 80 meters, okay. Um, well, there's probably one out here much yet. <laughs> anyway, so this is the little circuit, pretty compact, to say the least. Took, a, took me a few hours to put this one together. That's for sure, and uh, pretty te pretty tedious. I got a, a, a crystal socket put here, so I was playing around with little crystals, and there's my little tuning capacitor right there. So basically, you want to tune the frequency, you would tune it with that. So I do have a tuning capacitor. I didn't think I did, but there is a tuning capacitor, you know, in this right there. So I forgot. I forgot I had that in there. All right, let's uh, let's power up again and uh, give her a little little twist and uh, see if we can hear something.
So anyways, <clears throat> bit of CW activity there. But uh, this is version one of the DC, or the direct conversion receiver that I built. This is the very first one that I built. So uh, let's move on to my second version of the DC, or direct conversion receiver that I built. And this is version 2, which uses a uh, bigger tuning cap, main tuning, So this one runs on one double A battery, 1.5 volts for the receiver. And you got a 9 volt battery here which runs the audio amplifier. So the audio amplifier is on this small board over here, and I have an S meter built into this thing, for really strong, strong signals, and uh, it's hard to get the S meter to work because the signal, the, the audio is so low that trying to get the S meter to work on it is near impossible <laughs> so we built this one November 29th, 2020. That's when I built this one. So, yeah. So 
this is direct conversion receiver number two. So basically went from this to that to that there. Volume control. This set. Main tuning. And that's the receiver on and off. This switch is actually bad. I gotta replace this one. These controls are not that great, Otter. <laughs> Somebody talking on SSB at that time. Can't quite get her. So I'll swing on the crystal <laughs> to get her to go up the band. That SSB signal is just a shade bit higher than what I can receive. That's FT8. Could change uh, inductors, play around the inductors and try to bring the receiver up in frequency a little bit. It was only so far you're going to move it.
Anyway, strength conversion receiver number two. Let's move on to this bad boy right here. This is the, I got to say, the better one of the three of them. Is this one right here. Okay, this is version three of the uh, direct conversion receiver. Again, that was version one. This one here was version two. This one is version three. The direct conversion receiver. All that, uh, like I say, all that runs on is one 1.5 volt battery. Power switch is in the box. So we got uh, set. Basically, what this does it it shifts the frequency of the or voltage to the resonator that you can uh, change the frequency a tad bit on the main tuning capacitor here. If you tu if you tune this one way or the other too far. Then basically, when you tune your capacitor, it's going to stop the resonator from oscillating. So there's a heavy medium with the with the set control. This is the volume control with a uh, pure headphones. This one works fine, but uh, when I'm running on external audio through the say the realistic SA101, then the uh, the audio the volume control don't work you know as well. To not at all, but anyway, I digress on that. So let's uh, let's power her up. I really gotta match this up with a transmitter. I like this one. <laughs> Volume control, as you see, doesn't do a whole lot. That's the oscillator.
And of course, switch. And then she did.